Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can improve your photographs using the best app in landscape photography, PhotoPills, how I use it as a landscape photographer and how it's helped me take incredible photographs and really improve my photography just using this one app. Right after this. Hey, what's up guys and welcome into the video. On this channel, we talk landscape photography. So if you're into landscape photography at all, consider subscribing to this channel so you can get all the landscape tips you want to improve your landscape photography. Now, in this video specifically, I'm gonna be talking about how you can use photo pills to plan out legendary, amazing, awesome, incredible, how many adjectives can I use to describe the best photos that I've gotten using this app. It's, a, it's truly an incredible app and I use it to plan out every photograph before I go in the field. I use it all the time when I'm shooting and I, I want to show you how I use it as a landscape photographer. Now, when you open photo pills, it's totally overwhelming and I get that they have options that you can watch like tutorial videos built into the app that allow you to learn the app but I really think just using one or two features within the app you can instantly improve your landscape photography and I'm going to show you how to do that right now on the phone right talking to you. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now, recording my phone screen. And wh what you want to do when you open PhotoPills is it's going to look like this. So PhotoPills has a lot of different options set up. Like I just said, really overwhelming. Literally the only option on this screen that I use in PhotoPills is the planner option. Now in the planner option, it's a little overwhelming in and of itself, just because you have so many features you can use in this one section of PhotoPills. What I want to draw your attention to first is the top bar. Now the top bar is going to be the bar at the very top of your screen that has different options. You can scroll left and right through these options on PhotoPills to get to the right screen that you want. I'm gonna show you, let's say that I want to see what time the sun is gonna rise, what time the sun is gonna set. I can go to the fourth dot option or the fourth screen on the top bar that shows me exactly what time it's going to rise and set based on the time that I have set. Now to get to the time that I have today, it's incorrect. I can double tap on the little clock at the bottom of the screen and it'll give me today's date. It'll give me the exact time of what it is right now. So I know tonight the sun is going to set at 7.09 p.m. And based on the graph, I can see where the sun is right now and also what direction the sun is going to set in. This is extremely accurate and, and this has never failed me in landscape photography, going out and shooting locations. Let's say you wanted to know what timing everything was gonna be. Okay, you have different options here of golden hour, blue hour, uh, nautical hour, astronomical hour, and those times are gonna be set up based on your colors that you have here, and also colors that you have on your map screen. So as I scroll through the timing, I can see my screen changes color. That's gonna tell me, okay, this is golden hour, this is nautical hour, and now we're getting into astronomical hour, nighttime hours that we have. So I can even really zoom out over the entire world and see where these hours are coming into play so that I know exactly what time I need to be, wherever I need to be to shoot these photos. Now I'm just gonna zoom back in on where I am right now to see exactly what I can use photo pills. Let's say that I wanted to shoot the next best Milky Way that I had in landscape photography. Well, I'm just gonna keep scrolling through these options and come to the Milky Way option screen. So as you'll see, it has a, a graphic depiction of the Milky Way itself. It has galactic center, it has Milky Way max elevation. And right now it's set to today. So I'm gonna again double tap on this. And as you see, 
the little graphic representation of the Milky Way has changed. As I scroll through the time, that's also going to change. Now, the dots here, the white dots that you see are the actual Milky Way. The larger dots are the galactic center, and I can see the exact location that those are going to show up, the galactic center for the Milky Way. Now, this doesn't really have a bar chart on it until I click the Milky Way icon. These colored bars are going to indicate how much power the Galactic Center is actually gonna have. If you wait to a night like it has zero, you're not going to see the Milky Way. Either it's not rising in your area during this, that time of year, or a full moon is out and completely occluding the Milky Way. If it's all the way up, that's probably because you have a new moon or the moon is below the horizon that allows you to see the Milky Way with your eyes. And that's gonna give you the best option to shoot. So right now, the best option to shoot the Milky Way next would be September 9th at 8, 11 p.m. As I scroll through this bottom timeline, it's also going to show me the movement of the Milky Way Galactic Center and the best options for shooting those. So the best option would be from 8.30 to right about midnight. So that gives me an idea of what I need to plan for for a Milky Way shot, for what time I need to leave the house if I'm driving somewhere, what time I need to get to a location to scout any foregrounds if I haven't done that beforehand. And there are just so many options on this top bar. Again, here's blue hour and golden hour for today. Here's um, the sun and moon elevations, azimuths, phases, like tonight it's going to be a new moon. So this, this is such a powerful tool to have. Now, let's also look at the bottom bar that we have. Now the bottom bar, you have find AR, night AR, load and save. So let's say, let's keep going with this option of shooting this Milky Way on September 9th and let's say we're gonna shoot it at 9.37 p.m. I'm gonna scroll back over to the Milky Way screen, has my azimuth of the Milky Way, the elevation that it's at, it's gonna be basically straight up and down, and then it also has these options at the bottom for me. What I can see here is an AR, which is gonna give me an augmented reality view of what everything is right now, and you use that during the day a lot to see the direction of the sunset and where that sun is going to be. So if I scroll over, let's say I wanted to get sunset and the Milky Way in the same few hours. I'm gonna to scroll to sunset hour on this bottom timeline where you see the sun and moon graph, and I'm gonna hit AR. Now augmented reality is gonna pop up and I can move my phone screen around to see exactly where the sun is gonna set. Right here is where the sun's gonna rise, which means behind me, which isn't great for this video, the sun's going to set right in this location. So that gives me an idea of that. What about the Milky Way? So I scroll back over, we said 937, 934, something like that. I can hit night AR. Night AR is night augmented reality and it does the exact same thing for the Milky Way. Once I get out into the field, let's say my eyes are having difficulty adjusting, I can just scroll this and the Milky Way is going to be rising right there, it gives me the galactic core and actually a graphic this depiction of what the Milky Way is going to look like at that time. So I'm gonna hit done. Now I know where the Milky Way is gonna be, what it will look like, the orientation in the sky. Let's say I, I lock this in, I don't wanna lose it. I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna hit save plan, new plan, plan this name, next awesome Milky Way. Boom, save. Now this is saved for me to use for future projects in the field, knowing where the Milky Way is gonna be in a location anywhere in the world. Photopills is so essential to landscape photography because it helps you plan out the first 33% of the photographic process. 33% planning, 33% in field, 33% post-processing. Planning is so huge because it allows you to know what you need to expect in the field, but you also need that in the field experience of actually going out and shooting these photos because you want to use your plan and then also adapt to your conditions. Now, if you wanna keep watching videos, click 
on the playlist that's showing up right now in your screen for landscape photography tips from the field and from experiences.